Hey, it's Margaret at Main Street Hair Solutions in Thorpe, Wisconsin. I've got a wig review video for you today. I am wearing a newer style wig made by Ellen Villa called Sue Mono. Uh, Ellen Villa has a wig um, called Change that looks a lot like this. I would kind of call them sisters, in my opinion. Change uh, just has a mono crown, but no other features. And then Sue Mono has a mono part, mono center part. Um, other than that, there's really no difference between them. So if you're looking for less permatees and some monofilament, this would be a better choice over change. If you don't care, change would work just fine too. So if, as I'm doing the review on Sue Mono, you can consider this a review video on change as well, minus the monofilament. Um, change has a little bit of permatees up in the top, not a, not in a ridiculous amount, but it has some. So anyway, this is Sue Mono in chocolate mix, I believe, chocolate mix. Um, the only feature that she has is a mono part. Um, definitely has a full bang. So, and I have sold, uh, Sue Mono is new to my shop, so I haven't sold her yet, but I have sold several of uh, changes the other wig called change. I've sold several of those so I know this style works really well on some people It's not something I have ever worn on myself in my life. I've never had heavy bangs like this I don't have enough hair to have heavy bangs anyway um, I've never worn my hair like this. So this is a very strange look for me to see myself in but uh, for people who do bobs and they want bangs like this. This is a fantastic wig. It fits amazing um, it's a petite average, so if you have a good solid average size head or bigger than that, it probably won't fit you. It'll be really tight. Um, so if you're more closer to a petite or an actual petite, you know, this would this would probably fit you better than a larger head. Um, for me, you know, she comes down just below my chin and kind of wraps in. It, it is synthetic, so it's not like you can, you know, straighten it out. If you don't like that she curls in like that, there's nothing you can do about it to make her straight unless you know how to do some steaming, but I am not talking about that right now. Um, so, yeah, this is what Sumano looks like. I'll do some turns here. Very soft. I'll try to get into the camera here and see if you can see the top at all. There's a lot of hair there, um, but the the mono the mono part is there. Um, this is a very dark color on me as well. So, but yeah, this is just a little sneak peek at Sue Mono. Just a cute little bob with a lot of bang. The bang, the length of the bang could be trimmed. On me, if I was wearing this wig, I would leave them exactly how they are. I like them like that. But you certainly could trim the bangs up if you have a short forehead and the wig would be sitting down, you know, lower like this. Obviously, you'd trim the bangs. But as far as like if you're if you're watching this and the bangs are too heavy, um, I don't think there's really a whole lot you could do about that. As far as thinning them out, I would be extremely careful about thinning them out because then you're going to expose the wig cap underneath. So um, if you have any questions about this wig or any other wig, you can call me here at the shop, 715-669-6500. And then the email is info at MainStreetHairSolutions.com. My name is Margaret. Thanks for watching. Bye.